Hi everybody, it's Terry Beeson here. I was thinking I would like to honor Kenny Rogers by teaching the River Waltz, which is a beautiful waltz timing uh, line dance. Dance to Someone Must Feel Like a Fool Tonight. You can dance it with or without a partner. So I want to teach that to you really quickly. It's a little bit more involved than the other dances, but it's still very nice. And it's a great couples dance or an individual dance. So it starts with four twinkles and everybody starts with the left foot. So we're starting on the same foot for this one. And we are going to start with our left foot a twinkle, which I'll show you that. You're gonna step across with your left foot and step to the side and you can close your feet, but you do not have to. Then you step across with your right foot over side and close if you would like over side and close over side and close and each time you close your feet you've got to change your weight so your outside foot steps across your outside foot your outside foot each time so those are the twinkles i will do it for you this way also facing the back starting with your left foot I will face the back just so you can follow along. Starting with your left foot, four twinkles. You're gonna cross left side and close. Right side and close. Left side and close. Right side and close. So that is the first section. Section B, you're just gonna do a waltz uh, forward and back basic. So watch what it looks like. Starting with your left foot, you're gonna step forward and change your weight, two, three, back with your right, two, three. So the moral to this story is it's always gonna be your left foot going forward and it's always gonna be your right foot coming back each time. So watch what I do again. My left foot goes forward, ball, change. My right foot goes back, ball, change. Changing your weight. So if I do it facing this way, facing you, I'm gonna go forward with my left foot, forward, ball, change, and back, ball, change. So that is the basic step. You do one of those. Now it gets tricky. You're gonna do the same thing, remembering that your left foot is always the foot that goes forward and your right foot goes back. You're gonna turn a quarter turn to your left. So I'm gonna do it facing this way so as not to confuse you. So the first one is a basic step. You're gonna go forward with your left ball change, back with your right ball change. Then you're gonna turn a quarter turn to your left or counterclockwise, and you're gonna go quarter turn, and you stay there, and you go back with your right. You're gonna do that quarter turn once again to your left, quarter turn, and back with your right. The last time, the fourth measure of part B, you're gonna do a half turn. So you're gonna step forward with your left foot, turn a half turn on the ball change, and then you're gonna go back with your right foot. And then that's the end, it's the restart. So I'm gonna do the whole part B once again. I'm gonna go forward two, three, and back two, quarter turn, quarter turn, and back with my right. Again, quarter turn, and back, here's your half turn, half turn, and back with your right. And finish that ball change so your left foot's ready to start with part A, which is the twinkles. So the whole thing, your timing now is gonna be one, two, three, two, two, three. You're just gonna count it in three counts. It's called three, four timing. So here we go from the top. If I'm doing it by myself, Starting with my left foot, I'm gonna do left side and two, two, three. Three, two, three, four. Part B, front two, three, back. Quarter turn, quarter turn and back. Quarter turn, quarter turn and back. Half turn, half turn and back. Two, three. And then I would restart again with my left foot. So I'm gonna do that with music for you really quickly. All right, and I'm gonna face this way and you dance along with me. Ready? Just a little bit louder. Two, three. One, two, 